Hong Kong, a British banker jailed for life for the horrifying murder of two Indonesian women at his upscale Hong Kong apartment in a cocaine-fueled rampage appealed against his conviction Tuesday, December 12. Cambridge University graduate Rurik Judding tortured Sumardi Ningsi for three days, filming parts of her ordeal on his phone, before slashing her throat with a serrated knife and stuffing her body into a suitcase. Days later, and with Ningsi's corpse on his balcony, the former Bank of America worker picked up Senan Shmujiasi, intending to play out the same fantasies. He killed her when she started screaming. Judding, now 32, had pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility but was found guilty of murder in what the judge at the time described as killings that were sickening in the extreme. However, Judding's defense team Tuesday argued that Judge Michael Stuart Moore had repeatedly given wrong directions to the jury during the trial last year when explaining how they should determine whether his state of mind had impaired his responsibility for his actions. Defense lawyer Gerard McCoy argued the judge had wrongly told the jury to look for mental disorders rather than the broader spectrum of abnormality of the mind. Abnormality of mind need not be a disorder, McCoy told the court Tuesday. The judge has wrongly and prescriptively directed the jury that they should look for disorders because disorders are what is an abnormality of mind, he added. The defense team during the trial had argued that Judding's mental responsibility had been substantially affected by heavy alcohol and cocaine use as well as sexual sadism and narcissistic personality disorders. Not all four experts who testified agreed that Judding's behavior met the criteria for a disorder in all four areas, said McCoy. However, they did all find that Judding was suffering from an abnormality of mind because he had impaired mental functioning, he added. Judding was alert and taking notes in court Tuesday, dressed in a blue shirt and wearing dark-rimmed glasses, at one point smiling and talking with the guards in the dock. In the grueling 10-day trial last October and November, the jury heard how Judding became obsessed with slavery, rape and torture, fantasies he acted out on his first victim, Ningxi. The jury was forced to watch iPhone footage of parts of the attack as well as Judding's own self-recorded descriptions of how he had used pliers, sex toys and a belt during the killing. He then went on to murder his second victim, Mujiasi, slashing her throat in his living room. At the end of the trial, Stuart Moore said Judding had known what he was doing and described him as an archetypal sexual predator who presented an extreme danger to women. The hearing continued Tuesday.